contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. In this video, I have an Alienware. This is just an Alienware 18. That is the name of it. There's no Aurora. There's no M18 or whatever. This is a straight up Alienware 18 made by Dell. And the issue with this is they're having uh, network problems, specifically wireless. But there's one obvious thing about this computer is that the uh, Ethernet port has been broke off and pushed in. Uh, I'm trying to determine if, you know, it's, it's their, their whole network uh, interface on the, on the motherboard is shot or whether it's just the wireless network card uh, that we need to gain access to. Went into Linux with this. It did not see the wireless card. Windows does see the wireless card, however, uh, it doesn't activate. It doesn't show any networks. It says that it's turned off. I turned it on, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and disassemble this laptop to have a closer look. At I may try another wireless card in here to see if I can get it to uh, bring his wireless back. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the back cover of this guy. Pretty large size laptop here. But we're going to go ahead and remove these screws. Okay, this just lifts right off, like so. This is the fan cover here. We can slide that this way, and that lifts right off like so. All right, and now what we want to do, we want to remove this battery. So the first thing I'm going to do is unplug this battery. Right, and then there's a couple of screws here holding this battery on. We just remove the battery here, like so. We have to go ahead and take off our hard drive here. Okay. Just unplug it. From here, we have that. All right. We have to remove this optical drive here. Okay, there's a plug here. It comes with it. Then we can remove the optical drive. These two cables here, and pull that cable. We'll lift up here on this. Lift that up. All right, so we'll have to pull this ribbon cable here. This is the card reader. Flip that up, and we'll pull that out. This ribbon cable comes out. Very specifically, I'm going to turn this around this way. And we're going to remove these specific screws. This is going to get me access. The other side of the board basically is what I want because that's where my wireless card is. Okay, we'll start off with this screw here. Remove this one. All right, we'll come over here, remove this one. Okay, we'll keep working this way and we'll remove this one. Then we will remove this one. This guy here. And this is a longer screw. And we'll come over here and get this one. And then there's one 
here. There's also a longer screw, but it is labeled on the case itself. Yep, this guy here. Okay, there's one down here. We will flip the laptop over. Put it up from here. Okay, we're just going to take our SESME tool here. Kind of run along the edges of the palm rest. Just to pry it up here a little bit. Using my plastic pry tool here is unsnapping these snaps. Just gently lift up on this and I'm going to kind of take a peek. Because I kind of want to know where these ribbon cables are being fed. Okay, I see that. All right, and off comes the palm rest. And you can now see the two ribbon cables that I disconnected as before. So, let's take you down here and let me have, show you what this is looking like. Here's the network, the NIC that was soldered to the board. That's what's left of that. You can see here a couple of the pins still stuck here to the board. And perhaps that's shorting. Perhaps it's already shorted. These two, uh, they just need to come off. See if I can snip those off. But here's a wireless card here that I was looking for. So, you know, wow, pretty bad, pretty bad. Snip these off or break them off. These were all touching each other, so that may have been causing some shorting problems. I don't know. Okay, guys, here's what I've done. I have uh, replaced this card, and it has not made a difference. I have also tried it in Linux. It did see the card, but it doesn't. It cannot activate it. Doesn't search for gives an error when it tries to search for networks which is the same thing that it does which is the same thing that it does in Windows so I'm going to say that due to the fact that his uh, Nick here got busted off I'm just going to say that uh, it more than likely shorted and damaged the whatever circuit or chip that's controlling his network um, we are, will try to um, get a USB wireless antenna and maybe see if that works. But in my, in my uh, experience with that, it probably won't because the same chip or whatever controls the networking. But I'll give it a try. And... Uh, if it works, you'll have to live with that. If it doesn't work, he's going to need a new motherboard. So that's going to be my next step here. Anyways, I just wanted to take you along for the ride on this one, guys. I'm going to put this one back together. Tim'sComputerFix.net is where you can find me. Thanks for watching this video. Hope this helps somebody out. See you next time. For the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, Press the Windows, Control, and enter <laughs> keys at the same time to enable narrator. Shut her up. What are you doing? I'm working, Kit. I'm working, Kitty. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?
Now you wanna play. No attention to you now, huh? 